Hi, this is John from Chicago. Um, today I'm going to do a review on a new quad that I'm putting together. It's a 130 size quad. It's from my RCX Mart and it's called the RCX X130. Um, about a month ago uh, I did a comparison of two quads. Again, they're both 130s uh, that I put together. They're the uh, RCX H130. It's an H frame and it's from my RC Mart and I compared it against the Terra 130 which I got from Banggood. Um, in that review um, I said I preferred the uh, Terra a little bit more uh, because of the light weight. The Terra only weighs with battery 133 grams versus 265 grams for the RCX H. Uh, my new quad will weigh a little uh, closer to what the Terra is, uh, it'll weigh 162 grams with the battery is my projection. Uh, the power though from the um, RCX H, it has uh, 1407 motors on it which are very powerful so it has a power to weight, weight ratio of 4.9 where my new quad I'm projecting a 4.4 and the Terra had a 3.2. So uh, power, it'll be closer to the um, um, H, uh, RCX H130 and for weight it'll be closer to the Terra. So it should be a fun little quad once I'm done. Some of the components on this are it's the RCX um, 1105 motors by 5000 kV. It's a thousand kV faster than the Terra. I'm also using a, a little b 4-in-1 ESCs that's mounted on the main stack versus the arms. Uh, same weight uh, and it's an uh, easier build. Um, and then like I said I'm using the uh, larger camera. But the quad's now ready to fly line of sight and I need to connect the um, module here for FPV. Um, in here I have the uh, HS1177 camera, it's a CCD camera, um, third inch I believe, and it's a fairly high quality camera, it's been working real good in the past. Uh, I am tempted to put a small all-in-one camera in, this weighs only 8 grams versus uh, 45 grams if I use a conventional antenna and VTX or it weighs 33 grams with a, this lightweight um, VTX and antenna. So um, I'm going to go out and give it a quick uh, line of flight uh, test. It weighs 85 grams as is. This is a little lighter than what my uh, Terra is. I think that was about 82 grams. So I'll fly this a couple times and I'll come in and uh, put the uh, FPV gear on it and give that a try. I'm doing a line of sight flight for uh, the um, RCX X130. Hover's great. I'm going around the tree here. And I'll do a punch test here. My first punch test with it. This is the maiden flight. A little bit faster than the uh, Terra 130, uh, but not as impressive as I was hoping since this has 63% uh, more um, thrust than what the Terra has with the higher KV motors. But it, it does handle good and it does zip. It's definitely faster than the Terra, which was my one of my complaints with the Terra. Uh, but they both handle great and they're both fun flyers. It's not um, very intrusive. I'm flying in the park right now, but you could fly in a backyard or um, you don't want to fly right next to people, but uh, you don't get the complaints that I'd have, say, if I were using one of my uh, 210s with 5 inch uh, propellers on it. And, See what she does uh, doing um, a punch test straight up. 4S batteries. There's a, another punch test there. That was a pretty good punch test um, but here I'm flying um, FPV right now it's, it has um, 
very good video of the camera. It has the uh, Sony HS um, uh, 1177 camera. This is the how it looks in the goggles uh, with a uh, DVR on the goggles. So it's really a little bit clearer than this, but uh, this gives you an idea what you're seeing. I do have a little break up here and there, but it's not bad for the size of my uh, VTX. Thing moves pretty fast too uh, for a um, three inch quad. Here's some backyard flying between my backyard and the park around some trees, quite maneuverable. Um, my one complaint um, was I've flown this several times now, um, FPV, and I've had two or three crashes. Um, first couple crashes, I just hit small branches and it didn't do anything, but I hit a swing set and the thing, um, the stack broke apart. Uh, the um, nylon screws in there just snap uh, and I hit a fence once and it did the same thing so to correct that I used uh, steel um, um, bolts um, th 3m diameter 3 millimeter diameter and 30 millimeter long to hold the stack together so it's doing a really good job so when it hits now it doesn't come apart um, so I'm quite happy with that so that was one of the weak points that I had as you can see, it's um, pretty maneuverable. Um, I love having the 1177 camera on it that you could use. It beats those uh, quarter-inch CMOS and the um, cameras like the, like the Terra has and uh, what I had on my earlier um, H130. It's getting some pretty good range. I got as far away as um, 100 meters, and um, camera was still coming in pretty good. Overall, I think this is a great quad. Um, the pros are it has more power, 63% more than the Terra 130 with the 5000K uh, KV motors. Um, it also, I like the uh, 4-in-1 ESEs for ease of build, and I also like the uh, lightweight VTX and uh, monopole antenna. Uh, the weight is quite a bit less than the traditional uh, VTXs. On the uh, con side, uh, this quad weighs uh, about 22% more than the Terra 130. It's 30 grams more. Most of that weight came comes in the frame. I think you could get a uh, lighter frame uh, to improve this a little bit. Um, this frame uh, weighs 47 grams, and I think the Terra is down around 28 grams. Uh, part of that could be made up with a thinner material. I don't think it needs the base plate needs to be three millimeters thick. You could get by with two millimeters thick and you could get a little bit narrower on the arms. Uh, there's quite a bit of extra material for width. Um, the other con was um, like all of these um, stacked X frames, uh, they tend to break apart when you hit something hard. Uh, I think I corrected it by uh, using uh, taking out the plastic or spacers and screws and using steel. Uh, I've hit a tree now with it after I've done that change and it's held together really good. So I recommend this as a uh, nice size quads. The 130s are great for flying in uh, small parks and in backyards and they're not as intrusive and as dangerous as some of the larger 180s. And I've listed links to all the parts in the description below. 
Basically, uh, from my RC Mart, I had the um, actual kit, which included the frame, motors, ESCs, and other items at about $100. And the camera from my RC Mart was a little over 20 In addition, I had the VTX from uh, Banggood, which was around $12. And then the receiver, uh, FlySky receiver, was 10 so you're under $150 for parts for this and it's a pretty high quality built with the um, 4 in 1 ESCs and the um, 1105 by 5000 KV motors which are really great motors uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, video if you have any questions please ask those in the link below thanks for watching